Okay, let's try this again. Kim Wilson here, and I fell in love with this card um, on our demonstrator planning place, which is where we show ideas and share. And I love using vellum and layers. The Stampin' Up! vellum is a vellum cardstock weight, so it doesn't curl up like um, a smaller weight of vellum and it's easy to adhere when you're using layers. So I always put my top layer on first and then flip it over and then just put my adhesive underneath so it's hidden. And, and this is a perfect way to do it by using this large piece here, which is from the Contour Shapes a Radiating Stitches dies, sorry, Radiating Stitches dies, which are in the online exclusives. <clears throat> Okay, so I um, got this idea, and then I kind of just moved along and used the same sort of idea. First, I did um, this one here with um, using the matching <clears throat> dies to the, which are the countryside corner dies that come along with that suite of products. And again, I did one of them, one of the layers in vellum. And then this one, I did more layers and again, did a different layer in vellum. And um, all three cards I used for my sentiment, um, The Wonderful Thoughts, which is a new sentiment set, which has some really interesting sentiments in it, very different than usual. So I thought those were nice. Um, this one's kind of nice for like weddings or showers or anniversary or anything like that. And then I did um, You Are Much Appreciated. And the nice thing about this um, bundle is it has these fun dies that cut out the, um, the words. So if you like fussy cutting around words, then you don't need the dies. But if you don't and like that effect, like I did on this one here, then you'd want to get the bundle because it's 10% off. And this flower that I used is also only available um, is kind of an add-on for that bundle so it's um, really a pretty flower so I used it in this card so I, I did also want to show you how to how I adhere little um, Baker's twine bows so I added a little bow to each of my projects and they're all a very similar layout so I like to grab my glue dots and I I usually fold down where my dot is so that when I go to get my next one, I know where to go. And so I just grab off my glue dot with my take your pick tool and kind of roll it up so it's um, just on that little knot. And then I can quickly adhere it down and um, it's going to stay for good and not, and not um, be all over the place like if I had used a dot of liquid glue so it's gonna stick and right away so anyhow there's the three cards I made this week and I'm really pleased with how those turned out so um, remember the countryside in paper is on sale during the month of June and you might want to add on wonderful thoughts um, countryside corners dies if you'd like the whole bundle this is actually a single stamp so it's, it's like a large background stamp, but then the dies will cut out all the individual um, pieces. So that's kind of fun, too, if you'd like the whole bundle. But the dies, I think, are the star of that bundle. So Wonderful Thoughts, Countryside Corners, and then Radiating Stitches dies. Grab some vellum if you don't already have some because it's so fun to work with. And, of course, your favorite designer series papers. So there's my website, kwstamps.stampinup.net. Hope you enjoy these projects, and I'll post a picture in a little bit as well. Happy crafting!